ambush oh god damn it Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, uh St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh, that's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Okay, yeah, I get it. Let me know when the LC's locked down. <laughs> this time, I need so, you to plant one of those trackers on the helipad. Okay, okay, I gotta okay, let's get this place a tracker on that chopper. Squad, check in. Guys, All good. Just, uh, I'm clear.
How's it going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Thanks, ma'am. He can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I can play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I got to go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Buy something? Buzz. Looking for anything in particular? Man, your bike's looking good now. Yeah, good part that one. Yeah, that'll last you. That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. Sure. All right. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Hey, D. I got it. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia, instead of getting the best products from around the world, we got the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break. Deke, we need a wife. A wife? Oh, come on. No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, oh, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. You always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that. All to feed the beast of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. You need real, hard-working Americans at the helm. When we build something, it'll stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country... They'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. Our roads bend, friends, but they do not break. And neither will we. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. They look pretty broken to me, Cope, but hey, whatever you say. Eh, nothing wrong with a little crass commercialism. I mean, I could use a new bike right about now. What's going on here? <laughs> Still got the... Oh shit, there he is! Why? Before he ran, he stole two bags. 
bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated, but f okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Oh, shit, there he is. Making my day a lot more complicated, but f okay, fine. I'll check. Oh shit, there he is. going, Lynch, man. What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you. Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, oh, Ricky, here. I got him, and uh, I'll uh, send you his position. Fine. Send someone out here to pick me. him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? Please, don't leave me here. No, no, I didn't see him. All right, we'll bring him in. Boss Lake out. See you, hey. Lynch man. Someone's here. 
Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. Yeah, when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God. 